Hello friends, it is Running Kimono. So today is day two of staying at home. I think a lot of you are in a very similar situation. And I thought we would go through my collection of vintage coupons. If you like this sort of content, please give it a big thumbs up. Helps out with the channel, the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. So about five plus years, guys, I have been collecting vintage coupons or people send them to me. Another YouTuber here, Mrs. Empty Nester, her channel is linked at the front of my YouTube page. She's done videos before on uh, vintage coupons or unique coupons or stuff that she's had. She's been couponing a really long time and she sometimes coupons with her mom, which is like super cool videos. And um, I think... Yeah, Jana knows some of these coupons because sometimes I will ask her um, on Instagram information and she always has ideas and this lady is still out there killing deals every week at Rite Aid. So super fun channel. Go and check her out. She is really, really nice. I will also leave her YouTube channel um, in the notes of this video if you want to go and subscribe and go and say hi because um, she's really a cool lady. So this first batch of coupons, I believe they're from the 50s or 60s. And I have a theory on this because um, the dates are not written on it. But see how there's little holes in it? Those actually had to go through the cash register machine and it's five cents off of a crest. Can you imagine bringing this to the Dollar General on a Saturday? Uh, I don't think they would scan it. But as you can see, there is no place uh, for them to actually scan the coupon. And I believe in the 1970s, they started putting um, those barcodes on coupons and on products for cashiers to scan. But uh, this is just the, the really old way. They used to have uh, cash registers that would punch holes in the coupons. So like that is a lot of these, you're going to see those uh, weird goofy holes. And I think some of the coupons I have were non-circulated too. And this one is for Prell. I believe they still sell that at like uh, Walmart. And it's just basically like a two-in-one shampoo um, by Procter & Gamble. And then we have the five cent for secret. Um, this I, I've never seen this deodorant, but uh, you guys know that they have everything from those little um, aluminum free to sprays. They have a whole gamut of deodorants with five cents off. Joy dish soap. Like I remember about four or five years ago um, at the Dollar General, they had a bunch of this for one of those clearance events, but I haven't really seen it a lot. Have you guys, maybe you can let me know in the notes, but five cents off. And this is another uh, Procter & Gamble product. Their big ones now are like Dawn and Gain dish soap. So I haven't seen even coupons for Joy in a really long time. I wonder if they in fact phased it out. And how they used to do this is they would show like some sort of paper advertisement of like, here's your clean dishes, here's a coupon. And that was the sort of marketing that they did back in the day. They would put recipes, ideas on how to clean, you know, and when people would get their information, mostly from magazines, this would give you an idea of, oh, this is a really cool product. I got to try it when it came to your house in a magazine or a mailer. And this is another one for ivory um, liquid. I believe this is a dish soap. I know there's a body wash for this, but is there still a dish soap? I don't believe so. Again, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, but in other countries, they might use this as a dish soap. Um, that's also something interesting, but the lady's beautiful hands in the cartoon right there. And then this is cool too. Um, I love when they have like pictures like that. You know, this is for the Dove Pink. Um, and I know they still make Dove and it's uh, five cents off. And as you could see, I believe this coupon went through some sort of a machine because there's a whole bunch of holes punched in it, but it's the um, pink Dove. So, and then back then I think they only had like a white, like a pink bar and a white bar. And they had that also for toilet paper. It was like a blue toilet paper, a pink toilet paper, or a white toilet paper. But I think that's very indicative of the 60s and then the early 70s marketing. Like people really like that sort of stuff. And yeah, five cents off. But there was no men's body wash or, you know, um, shampoo at the time. And now we have the Ajax. Uh, this is some sort of cleaner. Um, I know they still have like a dish soap, but they might have, you know, changed around uh, their products. So eight cents off and plus save $2 on a thermos ice chest for only uh, $4.99. Hmm, kind of a good deal there. Five cents off of head and shoulders. And then we have the mysterious woman in uh, pink and red that looks very much like 1960s, early 1970s. And um, 
you know, just a really good advertisement, I think, for Head and Shoulders. And this is still like a, a tried, tested and true product that people buy today. It's really great. If you think about our coupon values today, it's like a five off a of two. That's what we'll usually see in the P&G. So five off a of two compared to five cents. Man, it's come a long way. I believe this was a, like a July the 4th um coupon because it just has the patina of you know uncle sam red white and blue and um five cents off of two dial bar soap and then five cents off of this um magic spray um so looking at the coupons a little more closely as you can see it's five cents off of two um dial soap so that was a bar soap body wash did not exist and then uh, five cents off of any size of a called a magic spray sizing I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it was some sort of like deodorant spray back in the day or something like that. Now, as you can see here, it says store coupon, not manufacturer coupon. So I guess this must have came out of some sort of flyer for a store. Maybe it was a grand opening around um, July the 4th, but a five cent off a two. And it says Armor Grocery Products Company. So who knows exactly what uh, that was all about? Oh, guys, look at that. July... 30th of 1968. I think that's the date for this. So my, um, if, if you look right at the top, that was kind of spot on that I thought these were from the 50s or the 60s. So yeah, that was, if that date is correct, it's July the 30th of 1968. Wow, some, some interesting sleuthing there. Um, but yeah, I guess it had something to do with uh, 4th of July. Just you could tell from the advertisement. That's what I picked up. Now, this looks like, you know, um, early 1970s, uh, maybe er late 60s, but this just has a feel of it. Um, this is for a feminine spray, so of course she's not going to have a big smile on her face. Um, I don't believe they make this product anymore. Um, I think it's like Summer's Eve or, you know, some store generic if you needed some sort of feminine um, spray. But um, this definitely looks, it has a, a patina to it of like, early early 1970s and um yep there it is guys if you look into the thing the bottom of the deck of you know the coupon valid blah 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 it says warner lambert pharmaceutical company 1969 there it is so that is really really interesting um so yeah that's where it's from and it's some sort of like little write-up of you know do you want to try this uh, feminine spray and and there's the coupon wow that is interesting Okay, here's another one, um, and this is what they would do a lot of the times too. They would show you um, like pictures of something delicious and then with two different coupons and then actually put a recipe card in with your magazine or your Sunday paper. So, you know, if you were like at home and, you know, you wanted to try this out and then you made it for your family and it turned out perfectly, you would be a loyal customer to buying the Kraft and Parquet products and then the dinner rolls as well to make this wonderful dish offering up these little um, recipes um, inside of inserts or you know on the back of um, products and then pairing it with coupons you know somebody like you know my my husband's grandmother or his mom um, they would buy this stuff for their you know for for years because they wanted to keep making this uh, you know recipe of the month if especially if their family really enjoyed it or if they had it around a holiday you know how that goes but it's really smart marketing to always put like some sort of a recipe because people will you know they know that it's really good products and even without coupons they'll want to you know buy the the parquet margarine or the uh, pillsbury crescent uh, dinner rolls and there's also another five center for the um marshmallows so yeah that's that's how it was done back in the day and um you know Look at that, guys. It says on the side 669. So that was probably uh, June of 1969. But really smart marketing. And um, people would, you know, keep going back to buy all that, all the items. They would have the recipe. And uh, Pillsbury and Craft would make out like bandits because people would become brand loyal to those specific products to make that recipe. And this is kind of fun. Um, this coupon could be worth uh, $25,000 in cash. I won. I won. I won. <laughs> and it's just uh, for Jello. It's some sort of sweepstakes. And, you know, they would often do this. So um, consumers would, would get in on something and, you know, possibly win. And uh, a little bit of excitement and buzz around a product. So another form of marketing. 
And could this be your lucky number? I'm trying to look for a date on this. I don't really see one. But five cents off of four packages of Jello. Even today, we never see like, you know, it's usually like buy five, get one for free, but five cents off. But probably back in the day, um, every package was probably like five cents. So there you have that. And another five center off of a product called Jello Whip and Chill. Um, this one seems like it's from a long time ago too, like probably like late 60s, early 70s. I've never heard of this product and see offer good for only 60 days. And then we have this Imperial Margarine. Do they still make that? They must have some sort of like, I know in Canada, I've seen this before and uh, eight cents off. So the coupon values are up about three cents because at the beginning of the video, we're looking at five cent coupons. So eight cents, I mean, you're just laughing all the way to the bank <laughs> and Lever Brothers Company. So yeah, that is really interesting. Okay, so the final coupon that I'm going to show you in this little show and tell is 50 cents off of a Cascade. I think this is from the late 70s or early 80s. And here's a funny story for you. Um, I was at a Walgreens a couple years back and somebody put this right near the Cascade products. I was like looking for, I don't know, something impressive in one of the cleaning aisles or toilet paper aisles. And somebody put this right near the um, detergent, um, you know, for Cascade. And I thought to myself, like, that is not a normal coupon. And I just kept it. And um, dishwashers, so that gives you a little hint. It's probably like early 80s. But as you can see, there's a barcode. And I think those barcodes started showing up um, in stores for scanning. And um, also for coupons, probably like it was the 70s. That's when these first started showing up. But I'm thinking this might be the 80s. Valid in the US and Canada. 50 cents off. And 50 cents is a pretty valuable coupon for this product. So I'm going to say probably like maybe the 80s. But like, I don't know why it was kind of like a goof or something like that. But somebody just put this like right with all of the stuff. And I just laughed when I saw it. And I'm like, how cool is that? Like somebody went and found this coupon from the 80s and just put it out of Walgreens. So it was kind of interesting. Anyhow, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you're staying safe. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.